Oh. Hey, hey, how are we? So I am uh, loads of excitement, right? Um, I just went and did this class called Power and Posture. It's in Paran in Melbourne. And um, yeah, wow, I am going to be sore tomorrow. And um, one of the things that attracted me to wanting to do this class was um, I saw this woman in the gym once and I chased her around the gym um, because she had these like beautiful, enormous shoulders and she was doing this handstand with her legs separated and I followed her around and chased her. I was like, excuse me, excuse me. I do this a lot, clearly, if you watch my video yesterday. Um, and I was like, where did you learn how to do that? And your shoulders are amazing. And basically she said, um, at Power and Posture. So I took action straight away, signed up, and here I am, week one, class one. Very excited, we'll report on that tomorrow. Um, what I wanted to do for you today was a short video on what is it gonna take for you to change. And um, I just did a video on this earlier on in my group. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Susie. How are you? Hey, Greg. Thanks for joining me. Um, I did this little video in my group. If you're not in my Facebook group called The Boss Woman Building and you would like to be, please just let me know. I'll pop the link down for you to join. Guys, it's women only. So, <laughs> um, yeah, just stick on my personal page. What is it going to take for you to change? And... This is a really, like, really interesting topic and an interesting question you should consider asking yourself. Um, because we can change from two, well, we can change from multiple places, right? But there are places, so like inspiration and desperation. This is something that I, I say often and I talk to, um, I talk to people about a lot, which is changing from a place of inspiration and desperation. Hey, Michelle, how you going? Um, and what I see time and time again is like people are continuously changing from a place of desperation, right? So they're waiting until their bank account is getting low. They're waiting until they lose five clients to take action to go and get more. Um, you know, it's it, they've put on 10 kilos before they realize they want to or before they decide they want to do something about it. Hey, Sam, how you going? Um, or they're in a relationship they're really unhappy in and, you know, they wait until shit gets really bad to change it or to do something about it. Hey, Marika. Um, you know, so there are so many, and I used to be one of these people. I used to be one of these people, you know, I would wait until shit got real bad. I would wait until I was in a really crappy place. Like I would wait until, you know, I exhausted myself and done anything and everything that I could to make it work. Um, I waited until I was absolutely desperate to make a change. I'm just going to go stand over here. It's so the sun's not in my eye. I waited till I was absolutely desperate for me to make a change. And, um, you know, so about five, oh, five years ago now, you know, I had a really successful business. I had a contractor working for me. Um, I was in a relationship living in Croydon. Um, nothing really wrong with it, but I was, I was unhappy, right? Um, you know, and I had somebody ask me what it was that I wanted and I had never thought for myself, what do I want? You know, I've always said, I always used to say like blase stuff like, oh yeah, I'd love to live in the city or I'd love to have this or I want this and I want that. But it was like, it was surface level shit, <laughs> surface level shit, right? Um, it's like, yeah, I want this, I want that. But it was said with no feeling, no emotion, no vision, no fire behind it, right? And this is, people are saying this all the time. I want this, I want that, I want this. And then what happens, hey, Elena, if I'm pronouncing that right, or Elena, Elena, um, just let me know. Um, and what happens is when we continuously say, I want, I want, I want, right? And there's nothing... There's no fire behind it. There's no passion behind it. Um, and you keep saying that you want this thing, yet you're doing jack shit about it to go and get it or even make it happen. You're not even taking a step forward. Emotion doesn't have to be big. Doesn't. It can be a small, small little steps, right? Small little steps. Hey, Mac, how are you going? Small little steps will get you to the top of the mountain still, 
right? I don't know where this whole illusion came of like we must take gigantic steps or success happens overnight or body changes overnight. I think it has a little bit to do with social media, but anyway, that's a different uh, video post right? It's small little steps to get to where you want to, right? But if you keep saying, I want this and I want that, but you are taking actually no steps to get closer to what it is that you want, you're taking no action steps, you're not educating yourself, you're not um, seeking out some resources, you're not doing something about it, right? Just stop saying it, really, because you feel disappointed that you say you want this thing that you're doing nothing about. And, um, you know, so then what happens is we've said we've wanted it so much or for so long that it gets to a point where like enough is enough, right? And then you become desperate to make that change. You, you so desperately want that change because you're sick of saying it or you're sick of feeling like this or you're sick of being this way, right? So you are, you become desperate to change because it's like you just can't keep going the way that you're going. Hey Bridget, how's it going? Um, you, I'm talking about changing out of a place of desperation. This is what most people do, right? Um, and my question to you, if you've just jumped on, is like, what's it gonna take for you to change? Are you gonna wait until you become desperate? Are you going to wait until you've exhausted every avenue, right? If you actually have levels of self-awareness and you tune into yourself, Things that they will, it will feel good for you if you're headed in the right direction, right? If you're in tune with yourself, you create space, time, and energy for yourself. You will feel if it is good for you, right? You will know if it is not good for you. You will know that if it's draining the shit out of you. You will know if it doesn't feel good. You will know if it's if it doesn't if it's not right for you, yeah. But there are some people who just have their head down, ass up, and they never bring their head up to breathe. They never bring their head up to even check in and see if it's working for them, see how they feel, see what it feels like on. Um, consider if they changed a few things, whether that would work for them or not. You know, everyone's in such this like hustle mode or I want it now, I want it now, and they've got so much impatience. Um, and yes, used to be me i was so i just wanted to be successful so bad i just wanted to be in love so bad i just wanted to earn x amount of money so bad right and what that does is create you stress and pressure and chaos put you in a place of desperation because you're so desperate to want to get it and because you've come from that space which is like a stress um a fright or flight so a stress response stay right um, you kind of operate from that all the time. And if you do, you sure as shit gonna end up in a really big deep hole. Um, because I've been there, right? I've done that. I've dug myself some pretty deep holes, some pretty deep, dark holes because I was always changing from a place of desperation, you know? But you actually have a choice, right? You don't have to change from a place of desperation. You can change from a place of inspiration. Right, and first of all, sorry, I thought that was something, it's just the, um, just the trees. Um, you can change from a place of inspiration, but the first place that you need to get inspired is yourself, right? Because you wanna get clear on what it is that you want. Um, you wanna dig deeper into what it is that you want, like your why is like, um, the vision behind it like how's it going to change your life like what's it going to do for you how is this going to impact you why are you changing what do you want for yourself like um get yourself inspired to make a change from that place instead of desperation hey connie how's it going um hey bridget not sure if i said hello to you hi again if i did right you have a choice as to whether or not you want to make that change every day every minute of every hour all the time you can change anything right you have the power and the choice to change everything right but if you are continuously changing from a place of desperation because you're sick and tired of ending up at the same spot like that's a pattern you are running a pattern if you're continuously changing from a place of desperation you are running a you'll be running this pattern throughout your life right in, in like probably more areas than one, 
right? And in order to be able to change that, first of all, you've got to be able to recognize it, right? Levels of self-awareness and actually learning and understanding about yourself. This is what I do with my clients. This is what I do when I work with women and with my men as well, right? Um, believe it or not, like 50% of my clientele are actually male. Um, so I really got to create that boss man, right? So it's on, it's in the works. It's in the works. Um, so my message here for you today is like, what's it going to take for you to change? Like, what's it going to take for you to make change? What's it going to take for you to make, to take a step, no matter how freaking small that step is, what is it going to take for you to change, right? You get to choose the pace that you go at. You get to choose how fast that you move. But the key point is like, move, get off your ass, take some action, make a move because life is now. Like life is actually now. Like right now in this present moment, life is now, right? We, there's this illusion that everybody thinks, hey Libby, hey Greg, how are you? Um, we think that we have always have tomorrow. You don't always have tomorrow. You don't know how you don't know how long you got, right? You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Right? And most people just say I want and they hope that it will happen one day, but it's not gonna happen if you're not willing to make a move. Yeah? So I'm hoping and I'm my intention behind this video is to trigger you, to activate you to maybe rub you up the wrong way, right? Create some disturbance within you so that you will move, so that you will take action, right? And the first place you must start with is yourself. You can learn, like by, by understanding yourself, understanding your patterns, understanding your thoughts, your behaviors, like what is going on is like the key to making moves in the future, right? Because if you understand how you operate, you know where it's coming from, you know what's going on, you then have the power to be actually, to, the power to actually be able to change that, right? But people are just running around like, they've got no idea what's going on in their subconscious. They've got no idea why they kept ending up in the same place, right? Because you've got to do the self work. You've got to learn about yourself, like how you're currently operating in the world. And if you've never done any self work, chances are you're operating as a child, like you're operating like a child because this is where you learnt all your stuff, right? From the age of zero to seven. Um, your brain is like a sponge and you absorb everything that's around you. This is why there's, you know, there's so much information on there about, um, you know, taking on like your being like your mother and your father and taking on their traits and their beliefs and their values and, and taking them out into the world. Hey, Ed Vandro, Ed Vandro, I hope I said that right. Um, so, you know, unless you teach yourself as an adult how to operate in this world, you are going to run patterns that you absorbed when you were a kid, right? This is why I continuously talk about doing the self-work, like get a self-education. Right, that's what I'm gonna title my next video. Get a self-education, right? It doesn't have to be this like deep draining um, learning. It can be a fun, awesome experience in which you get to take back control of your mind and your body and your whole damn life, yeah? And if you're not in control of your life, if you feel out of control, if you feel stuck, if you are procrastinating, if you're not getting anywhere, if you're ending up in the same freaking place time and time and time again, if you're sick of running the same story, if you have had enough, like if you're in that place of desperation, it's time to make a move. It's time to make a change. It's time to take action, time to take a step. It might be time to talk to me, right? So I'm going to put a um, link to book a call with me if you would like to work with me um, and on getting your self-education, right? Um, you know, the essence of what I do is teaching, is teach, giving you the tools, right? Teaching you the education, giving you the information that you then have for life, right? That you can then be able to have the power to be able to make those changes with confidence and trust in yourself and faith in yourself that you will figure it out no matter what happens. Yeah? And you can turn internally to get your answers instead of seeking externally all the time. Right? You work with 
coaches or you know if you're doing self-work and you work with um you know psychologists or counselors or you know you're doing all this stuff like you want to walk away with an education for yourself like you then have the blueprint for you and you get the choice to change that blueprint if you want to right and that's the beauty in what i do because i'm giving women the gifts for themselves like i'm teaching women to manage themselves right they don't need me lifelong you know as much as i would like to train my people my women my men as much as i love them to hire me for life the reality of it is you know the relationship will end at some point in time but i've done my work i've done my part by giving them the tools by giving them the ability to be by giving them the power giving them the power to make make the, their own choices right and to pick themselves back up and to do it with ease and fun and confidence and flow like you know nothing nothing fills my heart more than watching a woman like take control of her own life um you know changing up her mindset changing up her body and just like being a boss woman right so um that's it for me today just a small little video on this um i will um pop a link for you to book a time to call with me if you would like and um i'm gonna run a free challenge in my facebook group in the next couple of weeks so if you're not in that it is called the boss woman building um on facebook so please um just like comment below um write boss woman below if you want to join my group and um yeah have a fabulous rest of your day Bye.